Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 43 of the Degenerates Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> We're in front of a live audience tonight. Yes. <laughs> that, that was the clapping. Hola. So, hello, everybody. <laughs> Woo! Okay, well... <clears throat> Uh, Mike can't be here today uh, because uh, he's scared of people and it's live. We're live in front of a studio audience, so Alejandro's here. He's from episode 13, episode 12, whatever that oh, was. Yeah. Remember him? Hashtag cereal. <laughs> bring cereal back. <laughs> Hashtag bring cereal back. That's the name of the episode. You can go back, you can <clears throat> listen to it. A lot of scrolling. Yeah, I think you can type it in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, uh, the time. yeah i think that mike's audio is real bad in it my fault though not his fault it was because i didn't have headphones so i was recording right. his audio over the phone too yeah. <laughs> yep. but you know so uh something i want to say first Mike sent me the audio for his audio for episode 41 the lost episode or oh, it's going to come out sometime this week, the lost episode of the Degenerates Podcast. <laughs> so, if anyone on the earth was waiting for that, <laughs> it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be coming. Um, and that's all the Degenerates Podcast news, really. Other than Mike's, yeah, Mike's, he's he's actually doing schoolwork. It's we're not in front of a studio audience right now. Boo, boo, boo. <laughs> uh, he's he can't be here because he was he was slacking, but you know he's catching up. Hopefully he'll be back next week. That's what I'm hoping for. He sent me the audio for that episode today, so hopefully hopefully he'll be good to go next week, and we'll have a good day. Good day. <laughs> <laughs> and uh okay. So what was the first topic you brought in, Alejandro? No, that I want to bring in. Um Let's talk about the Tiger King. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I watched the, the first King. episode of this. Alejandro watched the whole thing. I watched I watched uh, the whole thing. what I know about it is everybody's watching it. While, while they're quarantined it's, with the coronavirus. It's the main thing to binge. <laughs> <laughs> it's number one in Canada on Netflix right now. Everybody's watching it. It's insane. Um, yeah, it's number one all over the place. I see people, even Dick Masterson was saying like, oh, he tweeted, after you're done watching Tiger King, watch this new, listen to this new bonus episode of the Dick Show. <laughs> and like, yeah, everybody all over the world's watching Tiger King. Is it good? I mean, <clears throat> it's it's an interesting story. It's crazy how they documented this, like, right at the perfect time. Like, even the guy was saying, like, I don't know how I captured it this all on video, but I did. And I'm so glad I recorded when I did. Because, um, yeah, the, the show is just insane. Like, with they did dedicate a whole episode to Carol Baskin, which... You know, she's not the Tiger King, but that episode got everybody talking, saying, did she really feed her ex-husband to the her tigers that they both had <laughs> because he all of a sudden went missing? And apparently that was the solution everybody's coming up to. I don't know if I believe it. It, You know, there are some speculations that, yeah, maybe she did. She maybe because I, I, I think some of her storyline doesn't add up. Some of the stuff she said about 20 years ago has to uh, stay with the same timeline, you know, after that. It was that. 20 years ago when yeah, this happened? Yeah, this happened in the 90s. Yeah, he went missing in like, I think it was like late 90s, mid 90s. And now we're, we're, we're still talking about it. And it's, uh, it's, 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 the case is still open, I think. Well, he is, yeah. Well, yeah, he, yeah, he disappeared yeah. and hasn't been found. yeah. yeah. And, he uh, probably could be declared like legally dead though at this yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. she because uh, she wanted to take all of his possessions and uh, she couldn't until he was pronounced legally dead. So they had to wait. There's a five year waiting period. If someone's mm -hmm. missing, that's the period. And she waited five years and one day to <laughs> gather all of her stuff. She she was waiting. So that you know that yeah you know she got together with, with him when when uh, she was really young. He was like I think. 
45 and she was like early like 21 22 he had left his wife his kids she had left her husband previous husband to be with him so uh it sounded like she you know they had a common interest of animals but in the end uh, she wanted the money <laughs> i don't know because she wouldn't be here today she wouldn't have that big cat rescue if it weren't for her ex-husband by the she way big the spoilers for oh, tiger yeah. king sorry lion huge king. spoilers huge. <laughs> well actually not really huge spoilers, not spoilers really. for the lion king huge spoilers for episode Muf- three Muf- for episode three mufasa is killed by scar yeah, yeah. If you yeah. haven't, if if you you haven't, haven't seen that, the Lion King, you haven't King. watched the Lion King by now. <laughs> Come on, like, it's a classic Disney movie. <laughs> James but, Earl Jones. I I used to watch that all the time when I was a kid. No but, one talks about the Lion Lion King one and a half. I like, watched that all the time yeah, when I was a kid, no too, with Timon and Pumbaa uh, <laughs> and Joe Exotic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I remember Joe. I remember Joe. Yeah, he was a uh, secret cameo, secret cameo character. No, yeah, 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 that's right. I remember him now. I remember him. Um, but no, yeah, that's anything seemed... else you gotta say about uh, Tiger King? The Tiger King? Um, You know, yeah, you know what, it's... Spoilers right here. What I'm about to tell you, if you haven't watched all the way, yeah, skip to episode, skip ahead to, to eight, eight to eight minutes in the epi- in this episode, <laughs> and that's when we're going to stop talking about it. He's going to spoil you though. I'm gonna spoil it. <laughs> Joe Exotic does go to jail. He gets a sentence for like 22 years. Oh Jesus! Uh, yeah, for like just for th- for like attempted? on on eight, you know, that and like uh, 18 other counts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he 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 could have got to seventy years in prison. Oh but my god! Yeah, yeah. It, yeah, he's not was... going to be alive in seventy. Oh years. no, no. He's, he's doesn't... like sixty five now. Like, yeah. he's, well, he yeah. could still be alive in twenty years. He could be, but like, I don't think he'll last in prison, and I don't know if he'll make the greatest friends. I don't know if everybody in prison is the friendly type. <laughs> it's cool how so... they decided to do this documentary way before exactly. all this shit happened. Like the guy, like even episode one, he's like, just to let you know, I I recorded this at the at the perfect time. I did not know he did not know what he was stumbling on. He did not know that it would get this big. He it was just really popular at that time, and he was like, you know, might as well get the cameras out. And uh, it's it's just crazy how we well. You know, also, if you've watched to, like, episode six, uh, another big spoiler here, a lot of uh, the the video evidence of uh, Joe Exotic's TV show, all of it got burned. All of it got set on fire. The that, that, was, that was huge. You know, big speculation that Joe set his own stuff on fire. Uh, uh, yeah, but, uh, yeah, that, all that uh, video evidence was all part of his TV show. So it was... Um, so much for that. Oh yeah, eight <laughs> minutes. No more spoilers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're done guys. with the spoilers. One spoiler. We only gave you two. Yeah, yeah. Well, three. But, yeah. So, would you recommend Tiger King to anyone who skipped the spoilers, hasn't watched it? <laughs> if, if, if you haven't watched it or anything, I a hundred percent agree because to watch it because one you don't know what you're getting into when you're watching it. And by episode eight, you're like, what the fuck did I just watch? Like, did this actually just happen? <laughs> and I think that's why everybody, that's why, what's what's going on in everybody's mind right now. Oh, yeah. I saw the first episode and not much happens in the first episode. No, no. It, it progressively gets like more and more and more stuff happens. Like, it's, it's insane. <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> well, score out of 10. Out of well, out of uh, you know, I'm gonna score it out of a documentary sense. Out of a documentary sense, I I would say it's a ten. They they got a lot of stuff on there that uh, that you wouldn't really see in a documentary. Like uh, one thing, when you see it, you'll know when it happens. You'll just know when. It, I'm not gonna spoil it. You'll know what it. I, I was shook when I saw it. You know the they they didn't actually capture the moment on TV, but they captured. Oh, it's the that moment. thing you were telling yeah, me about. Yeah, on the security yeah. camera. You'll know. Uh, it, I, I yeah, I was shook when I when, when I saw that. Yeah. So uh, just a reminder: I still want someone to put together a list 
of everything that we give a rating to on this show just rate everything give all of our ratings we'll see we'll see what's the best and what's the worst tiger kings are number 10 already but i think i already rated something higher than a 10 so (laughs) out of 10 (laughs) so it can't be the best but there's there's something else that's better. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's a good documentary. <laughs> I forget what it was. Good but... <laughs> documentary. But, uh, oh yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. So, I w- was gonna talk to you about uh, internet drama. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Internet, everybody, since everybody's staying inside, everybody has more time to be on the internet. Oh yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It's everybody, celebrities, well, a lot of friggin' celebrities are just on everywhere on the internet. Everywhere. <laughs> that, that's that's what I'm seeing. It's weird seeing them on the on the socials as much as they are. Yeah. Well, I want to tell you about some internet drama that started before all this coronavirus stuff, but it hadn't gone to the internet yet. It just got to the internet uh, a few days ago, oh. and now it's the guy's going on a whole bunch of. He's been on like two different podcasts. He liked one of my tweets a couple hours ago. You think we could get him on this podcast next week? I have to tweet him. See if he yeah, likes yeah, it. yeah. I think I think I might. Yeah, I'm gonna tweet this this episode at him. <laughs> and um, uh, yeah, but his name is uh, Chris Christopher Pool. And uh, I showed you his videos. He that's Christopher Poole is his real name, but he he's on YouTube as Reactor, and he's been doing videos as Reactor for like five years now or something. Mm-hmm. I first found him through a Monkey Jones video, and I've talked about Monkey Jones on this podcast before, but. I didn't even know Monkey Jones when I first saw that video. That was the first Monkey Jones video I ever saw was his video about Reactor. And then I looked at Reactor's videos and then I saw the Reactor video where he reacted to Monkey that got Monkey's attention. And that was uh, when I started watching Monkey. (laughs) (laughs) So Reactor and Monkey, they sort of showed me each other at the same time. (laughs) And... That's cool. But Reactor has done a lot of good, awesome videos. I have a video on my YouTube channel where I predict the lottery. And I pre- that, that was uh, inspired by Reactor's video where he predicted the lottery. Although I did it like a whole week in advance. Instead of, he did it like two days. I predicted that shit like fucking... A whole week in advance, and I can't even predict the Chef Master winners. (laughs) So, I I don't know. (laughs) But I predicted the lottery numbers for the Powerball. Reactor did it. It's it's a real thing. You can do that on YouTube. (laughs) Don't don't worry about it. Um, And he, he started off as a reaction channel. And... He was going to do a whole lot of videos of him just pretending to be a real reaction channel so that he could uh, pull off a lot of crazy trolls. But Mumkey uh, kind of figured him out really early on and exposed him. Although Mumkey now has said that he wishes that he never did that and that uh, he just kept it a secret and went and helped Reactor from, from the beginning. Mm. Uh, because they're, they're like friends now. They, they like each other and reactor started, but because monkey exposed him, it caused reactor to start doing the trolls way earlier on. So, you know, grade a under a, I've never heard of them, but, uh, they're, they do these like the, he, it's, it's not really them. It's a person. Oh, okay. Uh, he was like a school teacher and he got fired or some shit. And then he started doing YouTube and he got real popular, especially on Reddit. Reddit loved him. Okay. But Reactor goes and he makes this video where he pretends he's collaborating with Grade A Under A. And Grade A Under A is telling him how awesome he is. Because uh, he used a bunch of clips from uh, a video where... Grade A under A is talking about how he doesn't like reaction channels. 
So he says, oh, I, I love Reactor. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he made it into an advertisement. And he put it before... He he paid like $500 to get it played before a Grade A Under A video. And Grade A Under A videos, they're just these like two stick figures that are just like, they don't move. They'll move their heads back and forth and stuff. But like, it's really easy to <laughs> make a video that looks exactly like a Grade A Under A video. So people were watching this ad for Reactor that looked exactly like a Grade A Under A video that was put in front of a Grade A Under A video. So people thought it was the real thing at first and they were getting tricked. And uh, Grade A Under A was really fucking pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he went to Reactor's channel and started like freaking out. And uh, lots of people stopped liking Grade A Under A because of how he reacted to it. And... He didn't really keep his cool. He fucking <laughs> flip shit about it. Yeah, it lost the top of his head. Yeah, yeah, and lots of people credit Reactor for uh, taking down Grade A Under A or whatever. Uh, that's the monkey video that I originally watched. That's the story that that video paints. Uh, I don't know. Some people might say that it's it wasn't exactly Reactor. I don't know, but I like that story. That's a cool story. Yeah. A young, small. He had like 28 subscribers at the time and then fucking <laughs> that that was the thing he had like 28 subscribers and then grade a under a is millions and he goes to his fucking youtube channel and starts flipping shit at him <laughs> 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 that's <laughs> yeah, might as well. um and then after um after the reaction stuff he did he, he, there's a lot of funny stuff in there but he started doing like he he said that he went to prison <laughs> for the like grade a under a sent him to prison and he got monkey to do a video saying reactor can't make channels on here then he started doing video vlogs then he started doing like normal youtube blogs it's all really funny everybody should go watch every single reactor video okay but that brings us to now i'm not going to talk about the past anymore except for the past that has to do with the internet drama I've just been talking about his past for like five minutes, but now I should talk about his brother, Tim Pool. Do you know Tim Pool? He, remember, uh, we lived, remember Blue Collar? Yes. And he'd watch Joe Rogan experience all the time when you lived with him? Mm-hmm. Tim Pool was on that show a lot. He had a beanie and he talked really fast. Okay, I don't know if I remember him. Did you ever see the episode where they talked to the Twitter, uh, the people who own Twitter? I don't think so. Oh, well, that, that was so. a really big one uh, because they were talking to them about all the shit that Twitter was doing wrong. Mm -hmm. and, and Tim Pool was, uh, it was Joe Rogan and Tim Pool and the Twitter, Twitter execs. Okay. And, uh, well, Tim Pool is a journalist, basically. And uh, that's that's what got him famous. He did a whole documentary about some penis museum, I think, in Iceland or some shit. Maybe Greenland or Iceland, one of those places. He went to the penis museum. Uh, that That's Chris's brother. And uh, he owns uh, the Timcast and a whole bunch of other stuff. He started on Vice, but he got fired, I think. Hmm. And yeah, he's he's uh he did a lot of work. Uh, you know who Antifa are? They're anti-fascist. Oh, okay. And he did a lot of work reporting on them because they they go and they'd have these like crazy rallies. What they advocate for is basically violence against fascists, and they want to get rid of all the fascists. You know these. You know that doesn't make any any sense. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> By power with power. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's not even that. It's just that wanting to get rid of one certain type of people would be fascism in itself. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> so, so wanting to get rid of fascists mm. is <laughs> the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. It's like, yeah, that's, I, I, that, that's 
why a lot of people don't like Antifa. <laughs> <laughs> but that's where I heard about Tim Pool. Interestingly, I heard about Chris before I had heard about Tim. And lots of people, they... Oh, they... A lot of people are saying that, oh, Chris has always had to... In relation to the drama, I haven't talked about yet. But we'll get to that. But people <laughs> are saying that Chris has always piggybacked off his brother. Uh, but because his brother is more popular than him. Tim is a lot more popular than Chris is. Mm -hmm. um, but... Chris has uh, stated that he had never, he had always like tried to keep it a secret that he was Tim's brother. And lots of people, when they first found out that he was Tim's brother, they were surprised. And I didn't know who Tim Pool was before I knew who Reactor was. Mm. Uh, lots of people, like he built himself up and he, he didn't ride on on uh, Chris's coattails. Mm -hmm. So that that's a good point to get out of the way before we go into stuff. Okay, so... Like four months ago, January, December, Reactor starts a GoFundMe. And he's saying that uh, 2015, he started a business. And then later on, uh, two people came into the business and they stole it from him. And mm. he's not part of the business anymore. And he needs $5,000 in order to get a retain to, to pay the retainer fee for the lawyer. And he says that, you know, the people he's going up against are like millionaires and they're going to have really good lawyers and he doesn't know how he's going to be able to fight it. And that's all we get from that point. Uh, you know, it's Reactor and he's a big internet troll, so we don't know whether he's trolling or not. But yeah. he, he keeps saying that he's that it's the truth, but then he doesn't say much about it until last week. Okay, so I pulled up the tweets on my phone. I just took a little break to do that. I'm back now. So these are this is what Reactor tweeted four days ago. Today is Sunday, April 5th. This was April 1st, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Although where he was, it's uh, behind us. It was actually uh, like March 30th. Or 31st, whatever the last day of March. It was just late in the night. But where we are, it was it was April 1st here in Ontario. So, um, uh, so what he tweets is, In-depth video on my YouTube channel coming soon. In 2015, I started a business by myself called Subverse. Last year, my brother Tim Poole and Emily Molly stole this business and social media accounts from me. To this day, they still lie about being the founders. Proof. And then here's a video uh, we launched, um, of uh, Tim Pool. This is Tim Pool talking. And he is uh, he's saying that Christopher started it by himself. The website that we have, subverse.net, it's active. It's been active for years. But I shifted to producing YouTube videos because, you know, admittedly launching a website is something I'm not as an, uh, I don't, I don't necessarily have the expertise. But... We have been running the site for years. Our oldest article goes back four years, to which my brother, Chris, uh, you, you know him as Reactor on YouTube, if you follow Reactor. Uh, we've got articles going back. We used to generate a couple hundred thousand unique impressions per month at, before uh, I actually you know, came in, because my brother launched this by himself. Before he uh, came in, it was already... Some, some first, the YouTube channel a while ago, we used to have a bunch of other videos that we actually have privated, because they, you know, we're, we, we changed the brand, made it streamlined. The website that we have suffers. Okay, and that, that's that's important. That before that before he came in, uh, that's Tim Pool talking right there, mm -hmm. saying before Reactor even came in, before Tim came in, it was already getting hundreds of thousands yeah. of views. Uh, when it was just Reactor. Okay, and then the tweets go on. They say they even went as far as lying to investors about being founders. When they raised $1.2 million from crowdfund investment, Tim Pool did a Kickstarter for Subverse where they raised $1.2 million right after kicking right after kicking Reactor out. Okay. Uh, Tim had no problem admitting I'm the sole founder of Subverse until Bill Ottman of Minds.com offered him $100,000 to replace me. On June 5th, 2019, Tim, Emily, and Bill locked me out of my YouTube channel and Twitter account and then reincorporated it without me in CT. Uh, CT. 
<laughs> that, that means something. Huh. With uh, in control, without me, I think it just means with, without him in the business. Despite making over a hundred and fifty thousand dollars per month from YouTube, Tim still decided money was more important than blood and left me broke and homeless. Then he threatened to kick me out of his house and leave me stranded on the East Coast if I went public about this. I learned a valuable lesson for blindly trusting my own brother. What I realized after it was too late was that Emily had changed my subverse social media accounts to have her personal email instead of mine. If you read my GoFundMe, if you read my GoFundMe and were wondering who I was talking about, yeah, it's my own brother. Remember when I said mm. he was vague and wasn't saying who so I've been convincing myself not to tell anyone he did this because even after it all, I still feel bad that it could hurt him, but I'm tired of apologizing to him for getting blood on his hands after he stabbed me in the back. And, oh, so after he makes this uh, Twitter post, mm -hmm. uh, like, same day, April 1st, this guy called The Quartering, who I don't know, I uh, the only videos I've ever seen from The Quartering are these reactor videos that he made just now. Um, and he's saying that he's friends with Tim Pool. He's mm -hmm. good friends with Tim Pool. So all the stuff that Reactor said there, uh, the quartering is saying that it's it's a lie. He's saying that Chris never did any, didn't do work. He, he said that he made two videos and throughout the whole course of the two videos, basically what he said was, was that Reactor started it and Tim and Emily reincorporated a new business with the same name in a different uh in a different state okay although well first it was incorporated with him tim and emily and then later they reincorporated in a new state without chris without even telling him yeah he didn't okay, know yeah, yeah. he didn't know about it until like two weeks later mm. Uh, and he was still doing work. He has proof of him making thumbnails and stuff. That's that's one of the next tweets. Um, he has proof of him. Here's a group chat from 6 slash 5 slash 2019. That's the day that they reincorporated in a new state without telling him. Mm. Where I'm seen making the thumbnail for the daily vid. Coincidentally, it's the same day they illegally incorporated in a different state to remove my equity. So... The quartering is, uh, he's saying all the, he, he's saying that since Reactor, he's saying that Reactor play, only played video games. Uh, he played WoW after, cause Reactor moved from New Jersey to, no, he moved to New Jersey. He moved to New Jersey. He moved, to, he moved like way far away from where he was. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Either from New Jersey or to New Jersey. New Jersey was one of the places. Mm -hmm. And he... It, because he already owned Subverse. And Tim asked him to come and move in with him. So that they could... So that he could join Subverse. And they could do Subverse together. Mm -hmm. And that's one reason why Reactor says he stopped uploading videos to YouTube as much. Was because... He used to be doing the reactor videos like all the time. They were awesome. But what happened was uh, he moved way far away and he didn't have because uh, he made the reactor videos with a bunch of his friends and stuff, I guess. Mm -hmm. So then he moved away from everyone he knows. Didn't even know anybody out there other than his brother. And Tim didn't really seem to be into the reactor stuff. He didn't like the dark, the dark satire. Mm. <laughs> Reactor keeps uh, bringing up, there's a video where he pretends to drink horse cum, stuff like that, that Tim Pool didn't want to be associated with. <laughs> so Tim Pool kept telling him that he didn't want, like, uh, Reactor's, like, face or anything associated with it. So Reactor was just, the only thing that he was meant to do was run the website and stuff. Okay. So what they did was they reincorporated... Not only that, but uh, they stole the YouTube channel, uh, 
everything and they were still using the same website and reactor was still paying for everything because mm. he, he was the only one paying for upkeeping the website and everything and doing all that and then and so that's 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 what reactor is saying and tim is also saying that reactor uh gave him uh the company and he's using these messages where chris is telling tim you can have the company uh but uh chris is saying that those messages came from two weeks after they stole the company from him when he found out about it and um he what he was saying was that they was that he w wasn't gonna because they were offering him to work for them as an employee mm. of this new company that they made and he said that he didn't want he didn't want to do that <laughs> because like what, who would want to do that and that's all he was saying he didn't hand the company over but the messages out of context make it look like he's saying yeah you just keep the company do whatever you want mm. but also like he's his brother too and like what are you going to say he didn't want to hurt his brother and so then i saw reactor that that's 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 where we are reactors saying this stuff and tim pool saying it's not true i saw a live stream a live stream two nights ago he was on tommy someone i think it was tommy c's fucking live stream show and what he says is he talked to chris and then sorry he talked to tim about it and tim uh told him to ask reactor about t t now tim is claiming that the reason that he kicked reactor out of his place was because reactor was abusing his dog and uh he didn't want to be a part of that but so so reactor uh what he says happened is that his dog uh got a sp spinal injury in his lower back mm -hmm. somehow uh he doesn't know how it happened uh the, the way he talks it sounds like he thinks tim might have accidentally stepped on him oh. <laughs> in the dark <laughs> oh my but um uh, but no he also said it probably didn't happen because where the dog sleeps there's no but like they don't know how this dog got the spinal injury mm. um so the dog can't like walk the the dog was given only three years to live it's reactor's dog so he doesn't want the dog to be getting too playful walking around too much because he wants the dog to be able to heal as, mm -hmm. as well as he can yeah so uh reactor he tries to get the dog fucking just of not moving around as much as he can so he'll go out and he in uh, he talks about how he had to like help the dog uh, when he went outside like go to the washroom and shit by like moving his like stomach and stuff because okay. he couldn't do it by himself mm -hmm. and how then he'd go and like work on his video game for a few hours that's something uh like apparently he wasn't playing video games all the time but he was working on he was working on a video game on making a video game though oh, okay and that's something that he was doing mm -hmm. um so and then one night uh the dog is uh like tim sleeping reactor sleeping on the floor in the living room because he likes sleeping on the floor in the living room now because he can hang out with the dog because his room's upstairs mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and the, just doesn't want to carry his dog up and down the stairs all the time mm -hmm. and so then the dog crawls away from chris's bed and uh starts like making barking noises and stuff towards tim's room and it wakes tim up and tim comes out and starts screaming at the top of his lungs of the dog and then after that uh the dog uh was really scared all the time <laughs> and uh they brought it to the vet and they were just like because the dog was just shaking so so reactor thought something else might be wrong with it they brought him to the vet and they thought no he's they told him that he's just nervous and stuff and they're mm -hmm. like oh the day like right after 
Tim comes out and yells so loud he can't talk for three days. He had to stop doing videos for three days. After, and uh, people are saying they remember when Tim Tim lost his voice yeah. uh, uh, because he was yelling at them about a dog. Okay, so that's the dog story. <laughs> Tim says that Chris was abusing the dog. Tim says that uh, he was doing as much as he could and... He wasn't even like Chris wasn't letting the dog walk around so much, and that's why Tim thought that he was abusing the dog mm. <laughs> because even though the doctor, the vet told him that the dog shouldn't be walking around that much, yeah, yeah, yeah he's yeah. just being cautious, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that, that that that's what all all the claims are. So that's that's pretty much where we are, I think. Um. Yeah, Tim. Tim says that Reactor wasn't doing anything, so they re and Emily was working fourteen-hour days, and Tim was doing work too. Although I guess not as much as Emily on Subverse. Tim was mostly, according to Reactor, Tim was mostly working on his own Tim Pool stuff. Okay. Yeah. And Emily was doing like fourteen-hour days for Subverse, though. And she get Tim to pay for her to go to France to do <laughs> videos and stuff. <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, that's so. So Tim's saying that Reactor didn't do anything, and that's why they reincorporated. And Reactor's saying that it was illegal for them to do that uh, and take uh everything that was owned by the original company as well mm -hmm. uh, and move it over to that one uh, without telling him and that they should have bought him out or something yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh and i with with the evidence i've seen so far i'm going to ask you what you think first it's because i uh, i well, what do you think about it like like what do you mean uh who, who do you think is in the right who do you think is in the wrong um well <clears throat> it does sound lots of people think that tim is in the right here i think the majority yep. of people but i think that's a lot because um tim is way more fans i was gonna say it doesn't sound like it sounds like reactor kind of yeah might have gotten a little i bet he feels kind of used a little bit you know, mm -hmm. where, you know, they he's the one who started the company and his brother kind of swept uh, swept all that under him and everything. And now it sounds like Reactor kind of has nothing. He doesn't have, you know, he didn't get any money from the company. Like it, He lost like, money because yeah, he was paying he, for the stuff. And if, he, and... <laughs> yeah, if he was paying for it, like his brother should have shown a little bit more And the company's worth like uh, over $10 million right. now. Like, he, his brother should, you know, should have realized that, like, Reactor, you know, he was doing stuff. Yeah, yeah you know, especially since before, like before like, Tim came into Subverse, Tim even said in that video that I played, they were already getting hundreds of thousands of views. Yeah, so they, like, <laughs> they were getting popular. But, yeah, no, it, you know, I guess, I guess legally, you know, well, from Reactor's point, it sounds like legally he did everything right, and he, you know, he made sure. Well, legally, that he was, I would argue like, that they should have gotten more things written down in paper. Oh, yeah, definitely, <laughs> yeah. yeah, verbal contracts. Yeah, always, yeah, yeah. He, Most of it is just like Facebook messages and yeah, shit. Yeah, well, you know, in Reactor's, he's thinking. They did oh, get the can... LLC incorporated, so it is a legal business. Uh, and Chris was in the original business oh yeah, uh, yeah when they first incorporated it so okay yeah 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 no it's you know i think reactor probably didn't even think that you know his own brother would do that to him. oh yeah yeah so i can see why he's hurt there and i bet now reactor is going to be a little bit more careful about how he does things now <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, i don't think he doesn't want this to happen to him again but yeah no it's <clears throat> uh, like i don't know if anybody's uh I guess, you know, if I had to choose, yeah, I would choose that, that Tim is kind of in the wrong here. You know, you, you don't just do that to your own brother, especially you don't leave him high and dry like mm -hmm. he did, you know, no matter what your brother is, you know, reactors, right. You know, you, you shouldn't choose money over, over blood, you know, like, uh, <laughs> cause that, you know, that affects the long term. Yeah. You know? But what if it turns like, out that like 
Tim is right, and Reactor like was abusing the dog and stuff. Or you know, it, that's probably the only thing. It sounds like Reactor really did care for the dog, and even if he was being extra cautious, I think it's better to be extra cautious than I guess Tim's idea to be. You know, just let him go for it. You know, let the dog run around the <laughs> yeah. house. You know, I, I first time be thinking, yo, he just broke his spine, man. Like, <laughs> let yeah, him yeah. You know, take his, let, let him take his time. But uh, but yeah, no, I I don't think reactor abused yeah. i think he loved the I dog because he's sleeping with it on the living room floor you can tell that he you know from what you're saying he cares about the dog you know it's his dog yeah i think a lot of people are kind of nervous to trust reactor on it because you know, he's yeah. such an internet troll he isn't very much an internet troll you know <laughs> yeah. what he could be stretching the truth more than likely he <laughs> probably is but you know but the thing is from my perspective you say the thing you were going to say first. <laughs> oh, go for it. Um, the quartering says that nobody is saying that Reactor didn't start Subverse and that Tim and Emily didn't reincorporate in another state without telling him and then take all of the uh, and then take all of the assets. Mm-hmm. That's um uh, that's something that both sides, no matter how much they fling shit at each other. They say that's how it happened. And I haven't heard a lawyer say anything about it. I want Reactor to go on Nick Rikita, Lost Blaming the Internet or something. Or I want, or maybe, hopefully Nick Rikita's talked about it. Maybe I'll look it up. Yeah, he's an internet lawyer. You should check uh, out uh, the Instagram lawyer. Lawyer, uh, lawyer for workers. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I want to, I, I haven't heard what a real lawyer says. But Reactor has said he's talked to lawyers and he says that that thing that they both agree happened is illegal and Reactor's owed money. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. you know what, it's this guy, he earned some money, you know, he was the creator of it. So, you know, he, he yeah. deserves some money for it, especially if it's like in the millions. Yeah, like, yeah. Well, oh yeah, they're also arguing about how much it was worth when they kicked him out and whether or not it would be worth millions or if it would be worth nothing. Because um, a lot of people are saying that Tim Pool did everything for it, but even Tim said before he even joined the company, it was getting hundreds of thousands of views. Mm. That's why Tim wanted to join it. That's yeah. why Tim wanted to keep it. Mm-hmm. Was because it was already well established. Yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> I, I think you know if if Tim would have uh, would have gone and kicked him out reactor earlier, like like right away as soon as he got it, I don't know if it would have been uh, rose to his fame as as much as fast as it did. Tim. Yeah. Yeah. If he. No. Tim was already famous. No, no, Every, yeah, yeah. Everybody like, knew like, who like Tim was. With uh, with this uh, the sun, what is it called? Oh, Subverse. Yeah, Subverse, Subverse. It wouldn't have gone as high as quick since, you know, if he were to kick Reactor out right away and if it was just him, you mm-hmm. know, I think both of them, since both of them were there, they both kind of, both used their, you know, internet uh, fame to, you know, kind of raise it. You know? Well, yeah, except that Chris, Tim apparently wasn't letting Chris use his internet fame. Because Tim didn't want uh, Reactor's name anywhere close to it. Because so then, uh, he didn't want the Reactor content to be associated with Tim. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So that's why a lot of people didn't even know that Chris Poole had anything to do with Subverse until now. That's why oh, he was yeah. able to be vague about it and not say. Oh, okay. And nobody knew what he was talking about. Mm, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I I don't know. It sounds like uh, it sounds like Chris is definitely owed uh, some money, and uh, I hope he can work it out with his brother. You know. Yeah. You know, because like apparently it's Chris's, legal now, Chris's man. whole like, family uh, was trying to get Tim to knock it off, and then Tim blocked everybody. <laughs> they, he doesn't talk to his family at all anymore over this. I can, dang. So he's he's just and yeah. Tim has not acknowledged any of this publicly. Uh, oh. he just got the quartering to do it. Who is, he's a YouTuber that is nowhere near as big as Tim. Mm-hmm. So that's probably why he, he wants to address it, but he doesn't want all of his fans to know about it. Mm. So he got the quartering to talk about it. So way less people, it would still stay down low. Yeah. Yeah. 
That that's what I think he was doing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, he should. Uh, well, I guess we'll see once. I'm sure he'll come out and talk about it. Yeah. Eventually, you know, especially mm-hmm. if it, you know, if it's getting legal now, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Or maybe he won't because sometimes the best option when things are getting legal is to True. not say anything. Yeah, your lawyer about will it. be like, yeah, you don't, don't say anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I learned that from Better Call Saul. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah shout out to Better Call Saul. It's all good, man. Spoiler. Fuck. We should, next week, we should do a review of Better Call Saul. I'm Breaking Bad. Might as everybody, well. everybody's Might as well. done a review of Breaking Bad. Oh, Let's yeah. talk about Better Call Saul. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we can relate it back to Breaking Bad. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah we yeah, can yeah, talk yeah. about, obviously. Yeah. It's very, a lot yeah. of Breaking Bad references. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, like... so, okay, this is going to be close to the end. I just got to say, stay excited. Because the last episode, me and Mike is coming out this week. Episode 41. This is episode 43. Where'd episode 41 go? Well, it's coming this <laughs> this week. And um, uh, next week, we, we might talk about Better Call Saul. If we don't feel like talking about something else, like... Maybe we could get Reactor on. He can talk with us about Better Call Saul. <laughs> yeah, see if he's lost it, <laughs> Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Okay, well, that's been episode 43 of the Degenerates Podcast. Hashtag 43, Pascal Siakam, Toronto Raps. Hashtag bring back cereal. Hashtag peace skills. I eat cereal every day now, thanks to Alejandro here. Yeah. He's really got me to bring it back. <laughs> I, talk, I didn't even eat it anymore. Talk but. to those restaurant owners. <laughs> Spice it up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.